Welcome back. It's break day. Okay, so today's brick session is nice and simple. It's just a 60 minute turbo. Um, we're gonna keep the power aerobic, so roughly 250, 250, 260 watts. Um, after that, probably gonna put shorts on, straight onto the treadmill, and I've got a, kind of like a cruisy run, but it's, it's not hard, it's not easy, it's, Probably just a little bit uncomfortable. Um, my coach, my run coach, calls them cruise intervals. They're like roughly zone three. Uh, yeah, somewhere around that. I think it's like 92% towards the kind of threshold pace. So probably going to be about 3:30 per k, 3:25 per k. Um, I'm doing four times eight minutes with just 60 seconds recovery. Um, so it's kind of like loads of elements to it. It's kind of, it's uncomfortable, but it's not hard. It's off the bike, so you're trying to work your cadence, trying to start and get into the run form. Um, yeah, it's just a, just a solid aerobic day, really. It tries to keep you away from that real top end anaerobic work. But um, yeah, it definitely makes the aerobic running and your like sort of steady running feel even easier, so. Yeah, so just, I'm just uh, four minutes in now, another 56 minutes. I'm gonna try and do as much as I can in the TT position, so I better get to it. So 60 minute turbo done, uh, 264, uh, 262 watts, sorry. Um, nice and aerobic, just keeping it nice and easy, nice and flat. I'm now gonna quickly jump on the treadmill into my four times eight minutes with one minute recovery. I think I got a 10 minute um, just chill warm up, um, straight into the main set, 10 minute cool down. And then we're done, 56 minutes in total, and I'll catch you as I go. Okay, six and a half minutes in. So another three minutes of warm up, and then straight into eight minutes at about seven, two and a half k an hour. Uh, one minute recovery, four times. So it should be uncomfortable. Shouldn't be like too taxing. So um, I keep track of the heart rate. See where we're at. Okay, so that is two eight minutes done on a 60 second recovery. Got 30 seconds left. Um, heart rate is creeping into the 160s, which is quite nice. Um, letting it come down during this rest. Uh, fitness is definitely getting better though, because normally the recovery is a lot longer on a set like this. Uh, just 60 seconds, it's quite short and sweet. So, yeah, let's go get it. Number three, here we go. Okay, so that's a uh, the Tuesday break session done. Um, yeah, as I said at the end, just then 30, 32 minutes of 
um, sub threshold running. So it was just really, um, my coach calls it cruise. It's kind of like that up tempo, top end aerobic. Um, really thinking about sort of good high cadence, um, feeling bouncy, doing it off the bike. So you've got a little bit of fatigue, but the legs are nice and warm. Um, but yeah, no, really, really happy with how that session session's gone. I've done that session quite a few times over the last couple of months. Um, and all, every time I've done it, it's always been um, four times eight minutes. Well, I started as four times five minutes, but four times eight minutes with three minutes recovery. Um, and that's the first time the recovery's been shortened to one minute. Um, and just knowing how I felt previously in those three minutes and needing those three minutes to recover. Um, you can feel that the consistency over like the winter months suddenly starts to really pay off because I just had a patch through the winter where I was just really consistent with run volume. Um, coming from a swim background as well, I'm just, I'm still trying to find my feet. I've only been doing this sport a couple of years. So um, trying to keep those needles at bay. I'm doing a lot more brick running this year based, based on purely that I've just adjusted to that sort of pounding on your feet. And why I always used to find that like my shins, my calves and everything would lock up if I did any intensity. Even a session like that, um, I wouldn't be able to walk for a couple of days. So um, yeah, it's nice to be able to put put it back to back. Tomorrow I've got a sort of 45 easy run with some strides. So being able to just back up day to day with the running is really, really crucial. Um, again, it's been a while. Today I've done a, um, I did some swim bands this morning. So a bit of core and some swim bands for about 45 minutes. I've just done my brick session now and then I'll spend a little bit of time later on after I've done some work. Basically just doing some maintenance, a bit of s and kind of stuff just to make sure the body's ready to go again tomorrow um, for an easy run um, and a anaerobic bike session which is going to be pretty grim. Been pretty poor recently with um, getting videos out and stuff like that so that is a I want to say New Year's resolution, but it's April now. So an April resolution is to try and get more regular videos out to you. I want to do a video um, later this week about my race calendar so far. Um, races that are being cancelled, postponed, moved, what I'm roughly doing. Um, you've probably seen the video uh, that Dan Ward or Triathlon Dan has done about uh, Outlaw Half. Um, so I'll link that at the top somewhere. Um, that's going to be one of my events, one of my first races of the season. And then, uh, yeah, I'll do, do a bigger video about all those races, some of the goals I might have. And uh, yeah, tune in and follow me along. I'm looking forward to doing the race weekend vlogs because the content of them is so much more um, enjoyable for you guys to watch. And if you haven't done some of the events that I'm gonna be doing, you can really get a feel for the event. And then it could be something you put on your race calendar for years to come. So yeah, tune into the next video. Cheers.